Hi. In this video, we'll look at using DOM Invader in Burp to test for prototype pollution. Prototype pollution is a JavaScript vulnerability. It enables an attacker to add arbitrary properties to global object prototypes, which may then be inherited by user-defined objects. This enables attackers to control object properties that would otherwise be inaccessible. You can test for client-side prototype pollution vulnerabilities using DOM Invader. DOM Invader can automatically detect prototype pollution sources and scan for gadgets that you can use to craft an exploit. It can use the prototype pollution sources it discovers to pollute the object.prototype as a proof of concept. If you'd like to follow along with this process, you can use the lab DOM XSS via client-side prototype pollution from our Web Security Academy. Once the lab has launched, we need to enable prototype pollution detection in DOM Invader. In the upper right corner of Burp's browser, we can click on Extensions and then click on Burp's logo. Click on the DOM Invader tab and with DOM Invader enabled, go to the Attack Types section and toggle the switch so prototype pollution is on. Click Reload to reload the page in the browser and make your changes take effect. Now we can start finding potential sources. To do this, right-click in your browser window and select Inspect to open the DevTools panel. Click the DOM Invader tab and browse around your target site to identify potential sources for prototype pollution. DOM Invader will display any sources it finds in the sources list. To test the source manually, while on the page in which the source was found, expand the sources list and click on Test. DOM Invader will open the same page in a new tab. In the new tab, open the DevTools panel and select the Console tab. Expand the object node to display the object.prototype and confirm that this contains a property called test property. Now we'll create a new object in the console and then use a second console.log command to view the new object. This allows us to confirm the new object has inherited test property. DOM Invader can also be used to create a proof of concept exploit. To do this, we can go back to the original page where we'd been investigating our application, and on the DOM Invader tab, we can select the source we're interested in and click Scan for Gadgets. DOM Invader will open a new tab and start scanning. Once the scan has finished, right-click in the new tab and select Inspect to open the DevTools panel. Click on the DOM Invader tab and check the contents of the syncs list. These are syncs that DOM Invader was able to access via the identified gadgets. Click Exploit next to a sync to test the sync with a proof of concept exploit. Again, DOM Invader opens a new window in which it attempts to call the alert function. If it is able to call the function, then an exploitable prototype pollution vulnerability is confirmed. 